We have uh, a reporter who lost his composure during a live report. These are my favorite kinds of stories because they're wonderfully awkward. You know, you know how local news anchors want to seem as professional as possible. Right. So look at the anchor's reaction to this. It's the best part of the entire video. <laughs> Let's watch. So volunteer to be Gordon Boyd was in court today. He joins us now with details on the sentencing. Gordon? Alan, victim statements have given Chris and Shannon's parents the chance to confront their children's convicted killer, and in Hugh Newsom's case, to actually get an answer out of them. But the, the judge says what swayed the sentencing decisions, at least in his mind, were George Thomas's missed opportunities in a tight space, which persuaded him, as, as he said, that uh, staying and doing nothing is as heinous as doing it all. All right, we're having technical difficulties, as we can see, a little frustration there. We'll try to get back to that in just... <laughs> Why did he look so mortified? He looked so freaked out and scared. I thought he looked cross-eyed. <laughs> He's like, oh, my God, what happened there? Jesus. <laughs> All right, uh, look, first on the reporter dude. Okay, bring it down. I mean, you want to talk about 10 too. This is classic 10 <laughs> You son of a bitch! <laughs> You've only been angry, at least I've only seen you angry like that once. Uh -huh. And it was because of the construction going on downstairs during yeah. the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, I had to regulate, man. You don't want to see me regulate. All right, now here's, here's why the report is a dumbass. Okay, look, dude, nobody gives a, sh a damn about your, uh, <laughs> about your story, right? So, okay, you're having trouble with the prompter or whatever it is, just read half of it, and that's it. Get out. Uh, oh, well, you didn't give two important details. Nobody's going to know, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, or, you know what, you misstate one of the details. Who cares? Here's the number of people that would notice. Three. On the other hand, if you do this in the middle of your live report, I'll sick their lawn. Here's the number of people who will notice. Everyone. Okay, and if you're the anchor dude, come on, break a smile, dude. I mean, look, that's the problem with the media, right? The, everything is so fake. Something really funny and weird just happened. Don't act like, I love how he bites his lip. He bites his lip. Uh, don't act like nothing is happening. Act, be like, hey, you know what? Okay, Bob's got to calm down a little bit, but right. you know what? we'll be all right. We'll be back. But nobody can keep it real on TV. But hey, God bless them. Let them keep making those stupid mistakes. People come watch us instead. That's why the newsroom at uh, newsrooms in local news stations are super frigid and scary to work in. Okay, yeah. because everyone takes everything so seriously. You can't even move the wrong way without somebody up your ass. Yeah. Uh, well, then, once they're up your ass, you can't move either. Because you're like, well, see, what happened now? <laughs> okay, it's tough to get around. Um, no, no, it's true. And it, what's interesting is that they view that as, you know, trying to uh, be more professional. And so they don't want to make any mistakes on air because they feel that that's super unprofessional, et cetera. Mm -hmm. but, but in some crazy way, I, I think it makes them less able to connect to their audience and in some ways less professional because they're less real. That's you know? 100% right. So, but, you know, I'm not going to change the media overnight into uh, realizing that I'm right about that stuff. But meanwhile, I love to see them get all frazzled. Mm -hmm. no, nothing makes me happier.